starlings. Welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jess with Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and star into your power. For those of you who've never been here before, welcome. Thank you so very much for being here for the first time. I'm so glad you're here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for coming back to watch another one of my videos. If you've been watching my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and take some time out to support my channel and my work by clicking on the subscribe button and give it a like if this resonates with you. For those of you, my Capella members, you are the most amazing people on the planet. Thank you so much for your love, your loyalty, and support. I'm so glad you were part of my circle, my Capella circle. Um, <clears throat> if you're interested in a personal reading or if you want to set up for an awesome Capella membership, which you can learn more about in the end of the video, check out the description box below or you can go to CapellaWellness.com and check out the amazing things I have to offer along with my very, very impactful Capella memberships. Um, <clears throat> Lastly, if you would like to support the work that I do and my channel, you can do so by submitting a donation or choosing an item from my wish list. More information about where those things are, how you can donate, how you can access my wish list on Amazon, those are in the description box below. Okay, just scroll down further and you'll see the links to where you can make a donation and where you can um, view my wish list. All right, if you do. Um, Choose any one of those options to support me and my channel and the work that I do. May that be returned to you tenfold. I wish you guys a wonderful week. With that being said, let's get into your reading. Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading. How are you? I hope you are well. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, maybe some of you will get a three-day weekend off. Since Veterans Day is this Friday, I'm recording this on November 7th, 2022. Tomorrow is the total lunar eclipse in Taurus. Get ready for that, Pisces. <clears throat> so, I want to make a correction because I have to put this in Scorpio's reading. I was talking about, I got this message about wanting to talk about the Detroit Lions <laughs> game yesterday. I said that they defeated the, the Eagles. It's the Packers, guys. So I have to, if you watch the Scorpio reading, I'm correcting it right now. The Lions defeated the Packers 5, 15 to 9. So I don't know why I'm saying that. Somebody must have been really, really happy about that win. Congratulations to the Lions. I feel you guys. I do. But anyway, there, I'm saying that for a reason, but I'm correcting what I said in the Scorpio reading because I know there's a Scorpio Pisces type of energy uh, here. But anyway, what we're going to do here at Pisces is we're going to see um, what current energies are surrounding you at this time for this week. And remember, time is fluid and energy is always changing. We're then going to get guidance. Not yet. We're going to focus. I can't talk today. Somebody's nervous. I am going to... Somebody saw my weekly already and i don't know something about the shirt i was wearing the tank top i was wearing maybe making them nervous i don't know why i'm saying that but i am um we're gonna see what you need to focus on what you need to avoid for your spiritual growth because that is what this is about we're then going to get guidance on how to best navigate these energies we're also going to see what the full moon total eclipse in taurus is bringing you which happens on november 8th and what your wellness tip of the week is. And lastly, what's coming to you in love. All right, Pisces, I'm getting my shit together because somebody is a little bit scattered and I'm kind of feeling it, but there's also a little bit of nervousness here. <clears throat> Let's see what your overall theme is for this week. I got to take a walk after this, guys, because these readings have been long. All right. Do we have a theme for Pisces, Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, Play It Series? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. We so-called gain an extra hour. It's 5.06 where I'm at right now, p.m. Supposed to be 6, but hey, the time should stay like this. <laughs> No springing forward, but I think they're going to change that, right? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, Spirit's really thinking about this for you, Pisces. What is the overall theme for Pisces? What are the current energies surrounding them? Please and thank you. Same thing happened in Scorpio's reading. Oh, I thought that was going to fly up. Guess not. What are the current energies for Pisces, Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic, Daily, Play, and Series? Please and thank you. <coughs> <coughs> thank you.
Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. I'm hearing like the Jeopardy theme song going on here. I remember playing this Jeopardy game when I was uh, on Nintendo, the original Nintendo, by the way. I was obsessed with that game. And I'll be honest, I used to get a little bit mad if somebody beat me in it, but that was really the case. I played it so much that I ended up memorizing the answers. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, Spirit. <clears throat> Do we have a theme for Pisces or are we going to move on to the focus stuff, which is going to be kind of odd. Okay, they said stop. Okay, guys, so we have Descendant, Invitation. Oh, that's kind of interesting. <clears throat> Same, somebody may be inviting somebody somewhere or <coughs> either you, <clears throat> Pisces, are going to invite someone for something or your person is inviting you to something. Um. This is also inviting love in is what I'm getting. Inviting happiness to come in. Inviting, you know, things that are colorful. Because see, this, this side of the card, it's more colorful than this side. It's kind of like bringing love in. Inviting this love. Inviting the colorfulness in your life. Inviting happiness. Inviting joy. And inviting, you know, exciting things. I don't know. Um, that's what I'm getting with this. But they want me to read the book because there's something in here. <clears throat> So the descendant is the place where you invite equal others to come into your world. It describes how you see these peers, what you project upon them, and what you were trained to respect in them. The descendant is where the sun would be at sunset. That's funny because the sun is about to set where I'm at. I'm actually, it's setting right now. Look at how you invite others to dance with you to relate. Be welcoming while also keeping healthy boundaries in place. When you feel... Once you feel comfortable about your ground rules for the people you bring into your life, it is easier to open your heart. If you notice that you keep people at a distance or avoid meeting new people, investigate this habit. Through it, though it might have been important to protect you at one time in your life, consider how it is working for you now and what would help you feel safe through uh, safe enough to open this door. Also notice in what areas of your life you ask other people to do your work for you. The descendant could point to what you might try to import from other people. <clears throat> While this practice can refer to an important skill in a work situation, it has its dangers in a personal relationship. If you feel disempowered, you might be drawn to powerful people. If you're an extrovert who in Edward Lee craves emotional and spiritual intimacy, you might draw in someone who helps you cozy up at home. It's wonderful when others can help you develop latent characteristics within yourself. But if you ask them to do this work for you and they leave, there goes your resource. If you see them as only an extension of yourself, you can't really see them. When you develop your own resources, you can see these others as whole beings with their own needs and gifts. <clears throat> you give your, This is the challenge with this card. You give your power away when, instead of working together, you ask others to be what is missing in yourself. Here's the gift. Tend to the inlet to your heart. Invite in relationships that are clear, healing, nurturing, self-responsible, and encouraging of mutual evolution. I see two of cups with this. <coughs> Sorry about that, <clears throat> Pisces. I was not coughing before I did these readings. And once I did Scorpios, it got worse. <clears throat> I even have the air purifier on. But anyway, I know something tries to keep me from <clears throat> doing these readings, but that's okay. I pushed through it. So Invite in relationships, okay? For some of you, this is just inviting love in, all right? That's your overall theme here. Now, a card didn't come out, but like, you know, I'm going to put it here anyway. There was a reason for that. 37 might be significant to you. It does break down to a 10, endings and beginnings. Right after the Descendant card is the Aries card. Act. You need to take action on something. Take the lead in something here, Pisces, because maybe some of you may not feel comfortable with being in the lead position. Some of you may be used to being the follower. <coughs> Follow the leader. But this is now time for you to take the lead, Pisces. All right. I keep hearing it again. Invite love in. <coughs> Invite like-minded people into your life. It's like there's somebody who is 
the opposite of you, but you complement each other. You balance, somebody balances you out. You and that person balance each other out. Let's see what you need to focus on. Wow, that was fast. They're not playing around. <clears throat> there is help out there for you, Pisces. There is support, but you have to go uh, after that support, okay? This ties into that invitation. Let people in. Let people help you. Let people whatever, okay? <clears throat> Stop giving your power away, okay? Don't ask others to be what is lacking in your life because there are people in your life who are bringing more beautiful things in. They're bringing love into your life. They're bringing color into your life. Some of you, whatever it is that you're missing, somebody you know is filling that missing piece, <coughs> okay? <clears throat> For too long, some of you have been in this woe is me energy, self-pity, self-sabotage, lack of self-confidence, lack of self-esteem, you not deserving of love, not deserving of these colorful people, of a of, 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 of beautiful life, that type of thing. This is about you <clears throat> stepping out of this, all right? There is somebody here who can help you with this energy, all right? Um... This is also rejection and abandonment. If you've been rejected and abandoned a lot before Pisces, and this was in Scorpio's reading too, that doesn't mean that this is going to be a continuous pattern in your life, okay? If you have issues with this, okay, you're lacking self-worth. You don't feel worthy about things. You have to let that go because there's somebody here who sees you as worthy, who sees you as deserving. Whatever happened in the past, even in the past, Pisces, you have to be allowing yourself to, to accept this help, to accept this love, to accept whatever these people are that God is bringing into your life. <clears throat> There's even your guides, your angels, your ancestors, guardian angel, whatever this is, let them in. Okay? There's this energy. There could be something with a mother and a child here. Maybe you feel bad for people who struggle, for people who go without, for people who are poor, who are dealing with hardships, illnesses even. Maybe you're recovering from an illness or something, but um, <clears throat> um, some of you may be very well affected by this and you, you maybe try to turn a blind eye towards it. You try to pretend that it doesn't exist, but that actually does more damage to you, okay? <clears throat> Um, you need to see the positive in the negative, the silver lining in things like the five of cups, okay? Things are improving, all right? You could have overcome a financial hardship. You could have overcome a serious illness. Overcome your woe is me energy, being a hermit, being an introvert. Not allowing anybody to see the real you. Not allowing other people in. Like maybe literally to your home, perhaps. Um, <clears throat> not allowing people to see the distress that you're in. The the hardships that you're in. You, you can't keep yourself from that. You can't hide like that, Pisces. Because there are people who are willing to help you. And they will sympathize with you. They will, they will assist you. But again, with this woe is me energy, that's not going to help you. Okay? Um, there is a recovery here. There are positive changes on the horizon for you. You also have to accept the past, accept what has happened, accept what hasn't worked out, accept the fact that some of you were in this very dark energy, okay? Lack of self-love, lack of self-worth, lack of self-esteem, um, victimhood, right? You are not a victim, Pisces. You are a victor. You have to get yourself out of this low vibrational energy because when you are in the lack mentality, you attract more lack. When you don't seek out help, don't expect anybody to come to your rescue. All right? Don't sit there thinking that your life is over, that your life is not going to amount to anything because that's bullshit. Okay? <clears throat> now, there is something here about you may have rejected someone or abandoned someone before, maybe repeatedly. And 
you are thinking that when you come back around, when you invite this person in, this could be a literal invitation, like a date or going out or invitation to an event or a concert or whatever this is, that they may reject you. All right. Because you may have well rejected them. Get out of the mentality because your thoughts are create your reality, right? You very well know this. Your intuition is telling you something different, Pisces. So let go of this victim mentality. Let go of, of this um, notion that if, if you have pushed yourself away or pushed people away, um, that other people are going to push you away too. But again, there's it could very well be the case that that's been happening, Pisces, but... <clears throat> <clears throat> there is somebody who is your equal but also your opposite who is not going to treat you the way you treated them who is 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 going to help you to overcome this five of pentacles energy right and you got to allow them in it's kind of like these two people are outside of the church right and they're afraid because like he's wounded that he's bloodied up they're they're afraid that because they're poor that they have nothing that they're sick that they're whatever i'm hearing like lepers you know that type of thing that they won't be accepted into the church that they will not get the help that they need they have to get out of that mentality they have to have the courage to step in through those doors and seek the help because there's something about being shameful with being in the predicament that they're in <clears throat> right again low self-worth i'm not deserving of this I'm poor I'm sick I don't have enough what am I going how am I deserving of this help here some of you are kind of in this mentality you have to get over that hump okay bottom of the deck is the nine of wands putting up your defenses you're feeling overwhelmed you're feeling like you know all this hard work is not gonna pay off um, <clears throat> you have to persevere this is a test of your faith and when I talk about the church you got to have faith in this whatever this is for you you're tired you're weary you've been through many challenges and battles but you are overcoming them you've overcome many of them before and there's something about this challenge about rejection about abandonment <clears throat> you may have gone through something similar before but this prepared you for what's coming which is why again you need to invite these relationships and these people in to help you to continue to help you if you've already been doing something to help yourself okay um some of you are, are resistant to this help. You're putting up barriers. You're putting up boundaries, unhealthy boundaries, because you don't want to let anybody inside your walls, right? Like I said, inside your home. <clears throat> you have to, to get over this type of energy because it's, it's again, it's, it's going to do you a disservice. It's not going to help you when you know that, you know, you can, you are deserving of that help. You're deserving of that love. You're deserving of whatever this is. Um, Others of you, with regards to financial hardships or illnesses, you are coming out the other side even better, okay? There is a recovery here. Um, you're coming out of the woods, all right? There are positive changes happening, and fives are about changes. You have to keep your eye on the prize, and you have to remain uh, faithful and uh, trusting of what God is doing in your life because things are going to turn around for the better. Okay, you got to keep going. I know that this has been arduous for you, Pisces. I know this has been, you've been bat through battle after battle and you're weary, you're tired. This could even be like physical weariness because look, go, look, he has that wand in his hand. He's like, mom, I don't know if I can keep going through this. I keep getting injured. I keep, it, it, I'm tired. It, it's, I don't know if this is worth it, but it is going to be worth it, whatever this is. This is the last challenge that you're going to experience, Pisces, before you achieve great success because things are going to turn around. Some of these has to do with some sort of mental illness or just physical health in general, that maybe depression, okay, um, drinking problems, 
obsessions with things, drug problems, whatever this is, it's been a challenge for you to push through this. But God is saying you are almost there, Pisces. You are almost there. There's a turning point here. <coughs> things are going to look up. You need to have faith. All right? <clears throat> You've worked very hard for this. Your hard work will pay off. Let's see what you need to avoid. What does Pisces need to avoid? <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's a whole bunch of cards. Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, King of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Emperor. Holy shit. Yikes. We got two majors here. We got a king and a queen. Bottom of the deck is... Look, the top of the deck is the Nine of Wands. See? Low self-worth, low self-esteem. You are responsible for your well-being, your success, and your happiness, Pisces. Nobody else is. There's somebody here that maybe you think that uh, they're single right now because I talked about inviting somebody like a date or something like that. Somebody here, you may think, Pisces, and maybe you, that this person who's single that you may be approaching Okay, you've rejected this person time and time again, but you actually did this person uh, a good deed. Why? Because rejection was protection. You were actually protecting them from being this low self-worth, low self-esteem person. You actually helped this individual to stand on their own two feet, to find self-fulfillment, to be self-fulfilled. Maybe you helped them start a business to help others, okay, based on what they've learned. Um, you've helped them to come into their own. You've helped them to find happiness on their own. So if, if you did this to this person, Pisces, and you're trying to come back into their life, you invite, you want to invite them back into their life, don't think that because you rejected them that they're going to reject you because this person, they understand the value of their life's lessons. They understand that rejection of protection, that they, they ended up realizing that they needed to be happy on their own that they weren't going to seek validation in their happiness outside of themselves because you actually help them become this incredibly self-sufficient, confident, um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, confident person, okay? They now see their worth and they're not going to settle for anything less. You may think that you are lesser than them, but you are not Pisces. All right, you've helped them to change dramatically. So this is something about you allowing this person back in and you may be afraid <clears throat> that when you do, that they're gonna tell you, oh, you know what? I don't wanna be in a relationship with you because I'm fine on my own. I'm happily single. But this person knows that they cannot get to the 10 of pentacles by themselves. They've just been patient enough with the earth energy to wait for divine timing for their person to be ready, for their person to also be in nine of pentacles energy so that they can create the 10, okay? <clears throat> Again, with this pity partiness, low self-esteem, lack of self-worth, Pisces, that's not who you are. That's not who you are. You got to let people come in and help you. People who are confident, people who are poised, people who, who know their worth. They're trying to get you to see their worth. All right? Seven of Pentacles. Making poor investments and in things that have nothing to do with your personal growth. Okay? Being overly emotional. Overly dramatic. Um manipulating people emotionally you may be dealing with a mother figure who is like that or you're dealing with somebody who is um <clears throat> um they tend to control other people with their emotions all right um they're irrational sometimes uh, they they give too much from their cup until their cup is empty this could even could be you all right <clears throat> This is wallowing in their sorrows, being emotionally imbalanced, being irrational and melancholic, 
right? There's a codependency here. You guys have to find fulfillment on your own. <clears throat> Happiness on your own. You're putting money, energy th towards things that are not giving you a return of investment. They're not helping you to grow. They're not helping you to learn, okay? Um, there could be drinking here. Being ruled by materialism, not wanting to do anything with spirituality. There could be gambling here. Um, <clears throat> somebody who's greedy, somebody who only focuses on money and not anything else. There's somebody here, it could be you or your person, someone who's focusing on money instead of love, true love, okay? <laughs> With that poor investment, that's what some of you are doing. Focusing on the material world. That's not going to bring you ultimate happiness. It's not going to make you feel fulfilled, Pisces. It won't. The biggest blessing of all, the greatest energy, love of all, is, is being in these relationships, the true unconditional love here. <coughs> There's somebody who will love you like no other. Someone who's very open and honest with how they feel about you. Someone who's very nurturing, very understanding, very intuitive, and very psychic, very forgiving. Very, very understanding and non-judgmental. Okay. You may have rejected them because you were focused on your money, on a job, on your business. You wanted to, you had investments made. Okay. You, you, maybe, maybe you didn't make poor investments in things and you made sound investments and they made you a lot of money because the king of pentacles is a wealthy person. There's something about a millionaire here because the seven of pentacles is a millionaire card. Okay. <clears throat> and with the nine of pentacles here, somebody is really focused on money. Um, <clears throat> they were jealous about the wealth of other people, so they tried to keep up with the Joneses. It could be you or your person, but there's something here about somebody started to realize that that was uh, the wrong way to go about money isn't everything and money doesn't bring you happiness. <clears throat> Social conditioning, okay? Understanding that if you put in a lot of tremendous hard work, that you're going to be successful, but some of you were overdoing it with the hard work, okay? Um, it was causing you to be moody, be irrational, being not being in tune with your feelings, not being able to express your emotions. With all this hard work and all this focus on money making, it turned you into a very um, imbalanced emotionally person. It turned you into a very irrational individual. <clears throat> Someone who can't deal with their emotions and they start causing all this drama and start yelling at people or start, you know, um, again, being irrational, being all over the place. All right. So, uh, for some of you, this money driven mentality really kept you away from being in tune with your divine feminine side because your masculine side got the best of you and there's strong masculine energy with this emperor card. All right. Again, with this uh, false belief about working very hard and Focusing on your money, that's going to bring you happiness. It's going to bring you some status, some success. But some of you are realizing that that's not the case. That it's really, you've been lied to is what I'm being told. Some of you who overcome this, some of you are still dealing with this, which is why it's in the void position. <clears throat> some of you conform to society. Again, being ruled by materialism instead of living more of a spiritual life. Doing something of the arts, doing something creative. Some of you thought you had to have a nine to five job to be successful, to be happy. Some of you are realizing that it sucks. It, it doesn't work for you, all right? Because you guys are Pisceans. You guys are very gifted with music, with the arts, with, with creative abilities, okay? You guys have this, there's even something with psychicness, being a tarot reader, um, doing tarot for others, um, something like that. Something with painting, drawing, whatever this is. You guys have, are very, very creatively talented. And Spirit is asking you to tap into those energies. You don't need to be investing your time, money, and energy to a job that you hate, right? Because, again, the society is telling you, you got to have that degree. You got to have the 9 to 5 job. You got to have money to be successful. It's bullshit. You can make a successful business, a successful life by ta utilizing your God-given gifts, okay? Again, music, um, the arts, theater, I don't know, whatever this is, something creative, Tap into your creative abilities, Pisces, because God bless you significantly with these talents. All right. It will bring money. It will bring success. Stop listening to what the outside world tells you you're supposed to be doing. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> the 
there's somebody who's afraid of commitment or you're afraid that this single person may not want to have a relationship with you. This is a solid, stable relationship. This is marriage. This is a strong commitment. It's a spiritual connection, okay, that you have with someone. You can't avoid this any longer, Pisces, because this love is what you're missing in your life. Because again, maybe you do have the money. Maybe you have a very successful business and generating a lot of profit or you became a millionaire because you made the right investments and then you made all this money from those investments. And there's like a little hesitation to share that with others, right? Um, you may have dealt with some financial difficulties before and something changed <clears throat> where you worked on yourself, you worked on your money, your business, and now it's fruitful. Now it's making money and you have a lot of it. There's a wealthy person here. Again, with the emperor, <laughs> maybe you have a spiritual business that's very healthy and maybe you know somebody who has one that they're not doing well. <laughs> They're not getting the support. They're not getting the clients. They're not getting the sales and they're dealing with financial hardships. And you have the money now to help them with this person because you're being divinely guided to help this person. If this is resonating with your story here, um, or it's a matter of you have the money now and what you're missing is this love here, um, this commitment. You've had reservations about marriage before, about religion, but apparently you're starting to learn that you can't base your past, you can't assume that your past is going to repeat, right? Your past does not dictate your future. There's something about this rigidity here, wanting excessive control, right? You want to control everything. You don't want to follow God's guidance. You don't want to do what God tells you to do. But again, that ends up getting you into trouble, Pisces. It does. All right. It gets you into trouble. So um, there's some, some strong energy with this temperament here with this Aries. <clears throat> and the Aries card did come after the Ascendant card. So um, there's some sort of resistance to wanting to share your power or you're afraid that when you um, invite this person in, into your life who is the catch that you're going to give your power away or that they're going to take your power away that's not the case here that's not what i'm getting all right it seems like somebody's afraid to get into a relationship because you've been happily single for so some time and you've become successful abundant there's money here that you have a lot of and you may be afraid of of sharing that because somebody may Take your money because maybe somebody took your money before after all the hard work that you put in. <clears throat> all right. But um, you really need to start taking action towards what is for your highest good. And for some of you, money isn't going to do it for you. There's tapping more into creating a business or tapping more into uh, delving more into your artistic talents because God has blessed you with those talents. All right. Um, for the others of you, you're being encouraged to make things happen, to take the lead. As I said, you need to take the lead in something. And again, this is inviting love in, inviting this colorful life in, inviting this person in. Could very well be the sign of pentacles, like I said. <clears throat> There's something about a very successful businessman. You may want to partner with somebody who has the talents, who has the gifts, who has this strong, powerful energy to them. It's like... They are, um, people look to them for guidance. They are, people love this person's energy. They love the advice that they give them. And you may want to partner with them, okay? Especially if you already have a business that's something similar. So this is encouraging you to um, <coughs> join businesses or invite this person in to be a business partner with you because I'm getting strong business people here. With a Queen of Cups, maybe it's with another tarot reader. Maybe it's with someone who's very psychic, very intuitive, someone who's very nurturing and caring, someone who, who tells the truth and who is not judgmental, who forgives, who's understanding of other people's problems. You may want to invite this person to join you with your business, whatever this is, because it may be spiritually based already. It could be counseling as well <clears throat> or therapy. This came out in, in um, Scorpio's reading. So there's something about taking action here, making things happen. You're going to be taking the lead and inviting this other people, this, this Queen of Cups into your life. Okay, this Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles energy. 
um, it's going to be well worth the investment, especially if this is a business investment, all right? Because you intuitively know that this person is going to make something more successful. It's going to make something better. They're going to add value to this business, to your relationship, whatever this is. But God is giving you the guidance here and this is really time for you to follow it, Pisces, because some of you have not been following your divine guidance. You've been trying to do your things your way because you've wanted to have full control. I think you're smart enough to know, Pisces, that there's no such thing as full control because God has control of everything. <clears throat> there's also an indication here, if you've been dealing with a financial hardship, um... Either somebody is going to help you. There's also a father energy here. <clears throat> Maybe a father is going to help you or you are going to help someone because you are, you have the resources, you have the money and apparently somebody doesn't. So you are being asked to help this person by providing them money, providing them resources because they have without. They, you may be dealing with somebody who has a son. It could be a single mother with a son. Okay? This could also be about being a role model, being another father figure to this child because there is a single parenthood thing here. But I'm getting a strong energy of a mother and a son and a father type of figure. Um something about a spiritually based business or spiritually based connection where God is guiding you to be this role model for this child of this person. It's well worth the investment because God is guiding you to help this individual <clears throat> because this individual has helped you to heal. There's also energy of a relationship moving to the next level with this individual, right? Um, there is strong marriage here because the King of Pentacles is married, so is the Emperor marriage again solid stable commitment um this is somebody who's very dependable very secure and stable here who is going to offer you their cup of love they're going to express their emotions and they're going to want to move to the next level with you in marriage okay because there's something about being able to support this mother and child here who they maybe don't have a home of their own or they don't have enough money to, to buy a car, a house, or something like that. But there's somebody here who's stepping up as this leader to kind of help this mother and child. Now, it doesn't have to be a mother and child, okay? Um, it looks like this queen of, queen of Pentacles, this Nine of Pentacles, she is uh, very... Um, she values herself highly and she won't deal with bullshit. She won't settle for anything less. But there could be where this queen of, I'm saying it again, this um, individual here, the single individual here, the only thing that's missing is the money piece of this. She's not abundant in money. Like she may have a business and the business isn't doing well for whatever reason. Okay. So you may be seeing this Pisces and this is ask, God asking you to step up, to take action, to take the lead and helping this person with their finances, especially if this is a business matter. <clears throat> There's something about a family business too. Like somebody, somebody's father is, uh, you've inherited the business of your father or something like that. That's for somebody specific. But um, if you're being drawn to help this person, Pisces, you know that this is God asking you to do this, to do the right thing, right? Because if we have more than enough, we are the ones who are being obliged to share with those people. We can't keep that money to ourselves because what happens is we get greedy like the king of pentacles. <clears throat> we get materialistic. We get um, like, you know... Um, it's irrational. It's like, no, I'm keeping this money for myself. I don't want to share it because I shared it before and I've lost all of it. Something like that. No. When you give more, you get more, right? You guys should understand the law of reciprocity here, how the way, the way law of attraction works. So, um, there's also this false belief about maybe not wanting to get married again. Okay. <clears throat> because you want full control. And you may want have wanted to stay single, but God is telling you, you can't get to the Ten of Pentacles. You can't have it all if you stay at the Nine of Pentacles, Pisces. All right, because of that false belief about marriage, because maybe you were married before and you're like, I'm not getting married again. I invested my time, energy, and money into that marriage and then it ended up in divorce. I'm not doing that again. But apparently 
whoever this next person is that has come into your life to help you, they were sent by God. Okay, and you know it. This is a God-ordained man marriage. Um, if you're doubting that this person that you want to invite back into your life is going to cause you some financial hardship or strife or challenge, <clears throat> they're going to be similar to your ex-spouse or somebody that you dealt with before or similar to a mother or similar to a father. That is not the case because, again, the Hierophant is here. God is bringing this person in and that past is not going to repeat itself like I was saying before. But it looks like you're ready. You are committed. You've done, you've mastered healing of the self. You have become a master manifester. <clears throat> You're able to bring in this money. But there is somebody here who has a lot going for her or him. But the thing that's missing for this person is the money. They have everything else but that. And that's where you come in. That is your role as a divine masculine Christ to be the ultimate protector and provider for this person. This is your this is part of the divine order. All right. You are you have been chosen by God to help this individual, especially with regards to finances. And it looks like for at least one person here, you are going to do that. You're trying to have a more positive, abundant mindset that when you invite this person back into your life and you express your emotions to them, you want to move to the next level with them <coughs> in the relationship. You want to marry them, okay? You want a solid, stable com commitment <coughs> with them because you know this is your God-ordained person. It's now time for you to take action on this, okay? There's been a lot of action-oriented energy for all the water signs this week. So this full moon is really going to push you guys to take action on things. So let's see why the five of pentacles is here. Why is the five of pentacles here? Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, Queen and Syrians, please thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Why is the five of pentacles here? Oh my gosh, eight of coins in the reverse. Okay, you got to stick to it. This is like repeating the same mistakes over and over again. This is repetition. <clears throat> um, hold on, guys. Let me turn on this lamp real quick. There we go. <clears throat> this is repetition. Doing this stuff over and over. Some of you continuously get into pity parties. I don't need help. I'm not deserving of help. I'm I'm too low. I'm too this. I'm too that. No. You got to stop that cycle. You've really got to put in the work towards your self-esteem, understanding you're deserving of wonderful things because you are. You are a child of God, but you got to get out of that situation. You got to get out of that mentality, Pisces, because otherwise you're going to attract more despair, more lack, okay? Because you know, you're responsible for your happiness and well-being, Pisces. <clears throat> some of you don't want to put the work into it well guess what don't expect your life to change don't expect positive turnarounds if you're having a negative mindset if you're having negative thoughts if you're keeping yourself down in the dumps because like attracts like <clears throat> and if you are in this dark energy then you're going to attract more of it okay you've really got to be committed and stick to working on yourself, especially your self-esteem. It's time for you to really get to work, Pisces. <coughs> for those of you who haven't done the work yet, you gotta stop repeating the same cycles of low self-esteem and the pity parties. Life isn't over for you, Pisces. You got to make the most of it. Bottom of the deck is the queen of wands. Okay? Juggling too many things. Excessive control. Demanding. I want this. I want that. It has to be this way. It's my way or the highway. When people are dealing with you, Pisces, and you're like, see, with the emperor, very controlling, it has to be done the way I want it to be done. <clears throat> okay? You may have acquired this from a father figure. You may have had a father who was um, absent 
or you had a father who was very controlling. They were very dominant, almost tyrannical, <clears throat> very inflexible, <coughs> would not budge, would not move. Uh, maybe you were dealing with Aries, but Pisces, you were mutable. You are flexible, all right? But some of you are dealing with, either you're dealing with somebody who's very excessively controlling, who wants it done their way or the highway, very demanding, <coughs> very domineering, or this is you. You can't take all the control, Pisces, and you can't control others. You have to trust in the universe and have faith in, in what it is that is being brought to you, especially if people are coming in into your life to help you. <clears throat> They're probably like, I can handle this on my own. I don't need any help, right? This is independence right here. But some of you, it's doing yourself a disservice because you're like, no, I can do everything on my own. <clears throat> I'm good. I'm all right. I don't need help. It's bullshit. <clears throat> <coughs> oh my gosh. And you know it. <clears throat> it's bullshit, Pisces. You got to stop dimming your light. The world needs your light, Pisces. The world needs who you were made to be. <clears throat> You're a very strong, independent person, but you are more spiritual than material. You are an ex excellent leader. You're going to be an inspiration to others. There is also somebody that you're dealing with who is this Queen of Wands energy. It's the person who's helped you to come into the light, who's helped you to boost your confidence and self-esteem and <coughs> your courage. <clears throat> you, This person helped you to become fearless. Now, this could also be that some of you, your person is helping you to become this queen of wands who is not afraid of anything. She knows what she wants and she goes after it. She's confident in her abilities and her, t her talents that God has given her. She knows that if she dims her light, everything else comes crashing down. That she can't attract more light into her life. <clears throat> this is also somebody who has the ability to attract helpful people. You have that ability, Pisces. Or this is your person who is attracting you into their life to help them. But she doesn't allow material things to affect her, to dim her light. She stays confident through it all. She continues to be a beacon of light, faith, and hope for others. Because that is her mission. That is her job. <clears throat> Again, she's more spiritual than anything else. So apparently you're being asked to help this individual who's inspired you greatly to help with your issues. And now you're being inspired. You're being called to help them. <clears throat> Let's see why the Emperor, the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the King of Pentacles are here. Can you please clarify what is in the avoid position. Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic families, please and tears, please and thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Chariot. Willpower and fortitude, personal power of the Emperor card, Pisces. This is time for you to take action. And you know it. You're being divinely guided to do this. This chariot is about following your divine guidance. This is the I think I can card. The Thomas the Train card, even though I messed that up, but I really want to say the little engine that could. I am capable of this. I have the courage to do this. I'm able to go forward with whatever God is telling me to do. I am on the right path, okay? You have to trust that you're on the right path, Pisces. <clears throat> this is about you having that willpower to take action, to head towards where you know is going to lead to your bliss and your paradise and your happiness. You have to trust that you're being divinely guided here and God is leading you to where you need to be. There's opposition there's block obstacles. You can overcome those obstacles, Pisces. Some of you have overcome this op these obstacles before. <clears throat> okay. There's something about being resistant to change, too.
This is for some of you about being forceful or somebody's being forceful with you. You can't allow somebody who has this negative influence on you because they're forceful and vindictive and domineering and demanding and controlling. That's not you, Pisces. <clears throat> because you know when you do too much of that, karma bites you in the ass. And some of you, you have been saying to yourself, karma is a bitch. You gotta be Pisces. You gotta take control of your life. None of this pity party bullshit, guys. Go back and watch this. Go watch the Scorpio reading because I talked about the Dream Theater song. <coughs> I think it's called This Is My Life, something like that. They're an awesome band, but that one song I'm not in agreement with because you have the power to change everything. <coughs> you have to stop being a victim because you're not. <coughs> All these things are teaching you major lessons, Pisces. It's time for you to take action and move forward. It's going to lead you in the right direction when you're following your divine guidance. There is also something about you moving towards someone, you traveling to somebody, or traveling, period. Maybe you're a traveling businessman. <coughs> And while it's brought you a lot of success and a lot of money, you're still missing something. You don't have the love piece. And I think I've gotten that for you before. Seven of Wands. See, resisting, being defensive, putting up your guard. You gotta let your guard down, Pisces. You gotta let people in. <clears throat> Do not be afraid of anything. You gotta be fearless like the Queen of Wands. This is a time for compromise. This is a time to work with people, whether it's business or relationship, other relationships, love interests, okay? Some of you are afraid of conflict, all right? Because I did say, if you are the Pisces who's tried to uh, let somebody in back into your life, um, who you rejected, you want to move to the next level of commitment, of marriage, having a family, okay? Taking care of them, providing for them, protecting them. You're afraid to, to, to communicate, to take action, to express your feelings for this person, to get this going, to move to the next level because you're, you're trying to avoid conflict. You're afraid that something's going to go wrong when that's not gonna be the case. <clears throat> You've put up your walls, you've put up your guards. Like, nope, I, I don't want to deal with that. Uh, I don't want conflict. I don't like conflict. Some of you have really learned or you really need to learn how to face your fears with regards to fighting for what you believe in and not letting anybody take you down. All right? This is my Tom Petty card. It's your life, Pisces. Don't listen to what everybody else is telling you, again, for how you should live your life. I talked about that with the social conditioning, the programming, with the Hierophant card. It's your life, Pisces. You do what you know is right for you. You go after who you know is right for you. You go after um, that business. That <clears throat> You make your dreams come true. You go after whatever it is that your heart is desiring. Six of Cups is after that. There's a reconciliation with people, person with, the, with somebody. You may be coming back into somebody's past or you're allowing somebody from your past to come back into your life. Because this person is very forgiving. They're very sweet. They're very kind. They see the child within you, but the, the inner child that you should tap into to, to help you elevate your vibration. This person has been very generous with you they're very sweet you have fond memories of this person and you love how you feel around this person and you want to make new memories with them because you know that you've had past lives together and you know this is your divine counterpart or your soulmate so you got to let the walls come down pisces <clears throat> okay you can't be afraid of letting this person back in 
Let's get your guidance for today or for this week. What guidance do we have for Pisces? Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, Clear and Syrians, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. What guidance do we have for Pisces? Jeez Louise. Oh wow, new career. <clears throat> Your work focus is shifting in a positive, new, and successful direction. Autumn. In the fall season, everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvests of abundance. It's definitely harvest season because we are still in the fall season at the time I'm recording this. Your hard work is paying off. It will pay off, Pisces. This is reaping your rewards, okay? Express your individuality. Allow your true self to shine because you are awesome. The bottom of the deck is... Oh, now I'm having all these cards fall over the place. Ask for what you want. Let the universe and other people know what you need. Don't be afraid of expressing what you need here. That's what she's able to do. Let me look at the book here. <clears throat> the fairies sent this card in answer to your dreams and prayers about your career. The universe has responded to your spoken and silent desires to have a fulfilling and meaningful profession. This is a reminder to keep your thoughts positive and continue taking guided action steps, such as getting additional education, networking with people in the industry you'd like to work in, updating and sending your resume or marketing materials, <coughs> and engaging in creative pursuits. Daily action combined with prayer opens career doors for you. Your business idea will be successful. Trust and follow your intuition about your career. Return to school or take classes to learn a new skill. Your financial situation is improving. You receive a promotion or a raise in salary. Heal an issue at your workplace so that you can move forward with your profession in your life. I don't know if I said this already, but there's something about if you're be dealing with financial hardships, that's going to turn around because of the hard work you put in, especially with a business here. That's for somebody. <clears throat> Let's look at the autumn card. The answer to your question will be reaped in the autumn, which is now. Just like a garden patch, you'll experience blessings along the way. Keep tending to your manifestation by men maintaining positive thoughts, affirming, praying, and taking guided action. Again, the fruits of this work will be ready as the leaves start to turn and the air starts to chill for the fall season. Return to school, a project is nearing completion. Visit or move to a location where the leaves turn bright colors in the fall. Grow a vegetable or herb garden. <coughs> Express your individuality. You drew this card because you worry about social acceptance. The fairies want to celebrate your uniqueness since to them you're delightful and perfect just as you are right now. <coughs> the fairies love your creativity and they urge you to just be yourself. Don't squelch your true self in order to gain others' approval. Pretending doesn't work anyway, and you can't please everyone. Instead, enjoy being authentic and trust that like-minded people will be attracted to you. Dress in a way that makes you happy. Trust and follow through with your creative ideas and visions. Speak your truth. Uh, express your creativity through an artistic project or business idea. See what I talked about the Queen of Cups there? Ask for what you want. This card serves as a reminder of the importance of asking for your desires. The universe is much like a restaurant and that you need to put in your order before anything can happen. Your current situation calls for action on your part. First, spend time clarifying your desires, then tell the universe clearly what you want. You can always qualify your request with the prayer, this or something better, so that you don't unwittingly limit yourself. Unwittingly limit yourself. However, you do need to make a clear decision about your desires. Be honest with the people in your life. Tell the universe what you want, write a list of your desires, have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with someone you're in a relationship with about your needs, boundaries, and expectations. Ask others to help you and accept that aid when it's offered. Expect a positive outcome and your expectations will be rewarded. See, I talked about the help. <coughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to do your wellness message now. What is Pisces' wellness tip of the week? Holy
Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, Queen Syrians, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Wow. <laughs> Recharge. Oh, it's not going to focus because the lighting change. I invite magic into my life always. Every day I grow my connection to this earth. If I am ever feeling low, I simply step outside and appreciate the natural miracles in this life. Being in nature lifts my spirits and recharges my energy. Go out in nature to recalibrate, to balance yourself. Look what's after this. It's connecting with nature. You're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. <clears throat> Food. What I eat fuels me. I eat the best foods accessible to me. I infuse my food with love and gratitude before eating. Visualizing the nutrients I am consuming and the love that went into growing and preparing this food. Oh, visualizing the nutrients I am consuming and love that went into growing and preparing this food. What? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, you guys know. You guys are smart. <clears throat> Watch what you're consuming, guys. What you're drinking, what you're eating. I'm not saying that you have to go completely like vegan or like eat healthy all the time. Have a balance in that. <laughs> Let's see what the full moon, total lunar eclipse in Taurus is bringing you, Pisces. What is this total lunar eclipse bringing, Pisces? Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, Plato, and Syrians, please and thank you. Man, these cards are just flipping over. A time for healing the balsamic moon. The end of a tough cycle approaches the full moon in Capricorn. Look, again, bottom of the deck, it's time to take action, new moon in Aries. Pisces, you've been getting this message for a year, okay? Divine guidance. The divine is telling you to take action on something. <clears throat> okay, balsamic moon. A time for healing. Pulling this card suggests that the past is in the past and a bright future is beckoning. However, before you take your next step, make sure that both you and the situation feel healed. This is not the time to paper over cracks or to simply pretend that everything is okay. Rather, you still need a little more time to heal and to soothe both yourself and anyone else in need. Then remind yourself that anything is possible if you believe it. This is also a time to surrender and wait to hear guidance from the universe. Powerful insights can be had. If you know that someone or something really isn't good for you, this card is a reminder to surrender. Start to work on your belief in your dreams so you're ready when the time comes. When one is healed, all are healed. It's time to let go of the past. You're about to turn the corner. <clears throat> Five of Pentacles. You need more time to heal. Think about how the situation would look if everyone were healed. Patience is required at the time of the balsamic moon. It's a time for self-care as you slowly but surely prepare yourself for the new moon, which is just around the corner. No matter which point in the current moon cycle you have pulled its card, it's a reminder to go a little bit easy on yourself. The time to step into your creatrix, the time to step into your creatrix power will come soon enough. Give yourself the time you need. Some of you may have had the time that you needed, and now got spirit is asking you to take action. <clears throat> it depends on your situation, though. Okay. You know where you are at. <clears throat> My goodness. How hard are you willing to work for what you want? This card is reminding you that effort is required. Work issues may be about to come to a head when this card comes up. If you're wondering if you should stay in your job or leave, this card can be a strong sign to make an exit. The end of a rough time is forecast. This card also asks you to consider how ambitious you are and whether you're prepared to pull out all the stops and make your professional dreams come true without being ruthless. With a love question, this card can be a call to face reality. <clears throat> Whatever situation you're asking about, making a plan will help. If your personal life is troubled, prioritize it more. Release control and trust the universe. A professional project may be ending now. Admit if you have been overly hard-headed or hard-nosed. Find a balance between your personal and private lives. It's time to stop fearing the worst. The full moon in Capricorn has a very strong work ethic and energy and will more than likely come up when you're asking a professional question. If your question is about another matter, it will serve as a much needed reminder to move through any feelings of hopelessness you may have been feeling about your situation. And this applies no matter when you draw the card. Making a plan is a far better use of your time. <clears throat> new moon in Aries. The flame is lit. A wonderful new start beckons and you're on the right track. Drawing this card is a superbly positive sign if there is something you want to happen in your life. 
This Take this card as a big yes from the universe. This is the time to really tune into your dreams. You may still have a long way to go, but you're on your way. Determination, self-assertion, and bravery are called for, but the hot fire of Aries is driving you towards success in whatever endeavor you're asking about. The caution, don't go too fast, forget your manners, treat people well as you charge towards your goals. You'll create much better karma for yourself. Don't even think about giving up, Pisces. Do your best and be happy with that. Avoid being brash right now. You need a 12-month plan. A new male is coming into your life. Or a new female. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. <clears throat> right? So the new moon in Aries is the first of the 12 new moons. If you're com committing to working with all the lunations, then the new moon in Aries is the right time to start. It signifies it's also the ideal time to start your moon work, such as setting intentions. Oh, look at this. Look, so when you take action, Pisces, expect powerful change. There's the eclipse energy right there. Okay. Let's do your love piece to this. Who is coming to Pisces in love? Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, Blaine, Syrians, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. <coughs> Did I say this about you earlier? Nervous or too nervous to ask? You out. It takes a minute. The answer is maybe second guess. I think this is you, Pisces, for some of you. <coughs> This could very well be when I talked about the time to take action. It's been around for a year now and some change. Look, Aries is here twice. It's time for you to act. You don't need to be shy about this anymore. You intuitively know when you ask this person out or whatever it is that you're doing here. <clears throat> <clears throat> that it's going to work out in your favor, okay? Your hard work is paying off. Express your individuality. It's time to you for you to open up to someone. It's time for you to speak your truth, right? You're desiring this person, but all the universe is asking you to do is to go ahead and ask this person out, okay? Others of you, you're too shy to follow your dreams, to follow your creative pursuits, why are you shy about it? You love what you do, so go after it. Now, the bottom of the deck is the twin flame card. Yin yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complementing each other. What did I say about the other person? Oh, no, I think that was in Scorpio's reading. Um, there's somebody, he, oh, no, somebody here who compliments you. It's your opposite, but it's still your equal, okay? You guys compliment each other. Yin yang. Masculine, feminine, right? You guys are one. You guys are, this is a union that's happening. You do complement each other, Pisces. Because you know this is your counterpart. I talked about that with the Six of Cups that we saw. You know that this is a God-ordained spouse. You know that this person was meant for you. I can't see the higher fruit, but we saw it earlier. This is your divine counterpart okay your twin you know that this person was meant for you that this relationship was meant to happen okay just be your true self do not be afraid to be you pisces it's time for you to take action and communicate how you feel tell this person what you need what you want what your expectations are don't be afraid that this person's going to be all like, no, it's my way or the highway, right? Emperor and queen of wands. Nope, I'm not going to compromise with you. See, avoiding conflict because you're afraid that somebody's not going to compromise with you. You need to talk it out. But if this is your counterpart, it's going to work out if, if you guys have done the work, okay? You don't have to be shy anywhere, Pisces, and that's your energy, okay? I love you guys to death, but there's no reason. You're thinking the answer is maybe second-guessing, Taking action, asking this person out, you already know intuitively that this person's gonna say yes because you feel this person, or this person has is as strongly psychic about you. 
they know a lot about you, okay? So be who you are, all right? Don't be afraid to be who you are. Looks up, look what's after this. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together and perfect. See? Mask, not showing your true feelings. Hide, personify, pretend, delude, guys, letting you can't hide your feelings anymore, Pisces. And don't worry about when you prof when you profess your love, when you talk about your needs, your wants, your goals, your expectations in this relationship. Don't be afraid because the person that you are about to do this towards or the person you're about to talk about this with, they are very understanding. They're unconditionally loving. They compromise. They work with you. They're unconditionally loving. So... If you have a need or a want or expectation, she's receptive to it, okay? She is. Your person is going to be receptive to this. All right, Pisces? There's no need to worry about this person. You know that this person is a very forgiving and understanding individual. All right? There's something about you wanting your me time, your freedom every now and again. That's fine. So do I, Pisces. I have my moon in Aquarius. I got to go in my spaceship every now and again. I can only deal with so much social activity, even though I am a Gemini sun. I do need to pull away. Okay, I do. So if that's you also, Pisces, then tell that person. That person is going to be very understanding. Okay, Pisces, if that's what's going to make you feel more balanced, it's going to make you feel better, it's making you more happy, I'm fine with that. All right? What does their person want to say to Pisces? Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic families, Plato, and Syrians, please and thank you. Thank you very much. I don't want anybody else but you. I don't. That's coming from that magic song by um, Coldplay. I'm trying so hard to open up to you. I really am. See? <coughs> that shy energy. Pisces, you don't have to be shy anymore. This is your time to do it. You keep getting the action card. It's been like this for a while. All right? This eclipse season is going to end this tough cycle of you not feeling worthy of this love, of this person, of this success, of whatever this is, right? You are both going to heal together going forward, all right? You got this, Pisces. <clears throat> Queen of Cups is there. You're not going to be rejected by the Queen of Cups. That's also you being open with how you truly feel, expressing your emotions. I'm about to reach out to you. I know I have to say something before you leave i'm planning to spend the holidays with you this year surprise okay okay look i'm terrified fulfilling my roles of divine masculine i'm working on this i talked about stepping into this leadership role as a true divine masculine who provides protects the feminine the family the home right some of you are still having issues with this others of you you're overcoming that fear because you know what god is leading to you know what your role is now um so, so yeah maybe this is you not just asking somebody out but maybe just wanting to spend the holidays with them this year okay maybe there's a little hesitation because especially when i was channeling this is a mother energy when i was channeling this energy about a single mother and a child you know maybe you're wanting to help them for the holidays or something like that or you're you're wanting to do something for them and this could very well be wanting to spend the holidays with them this year. And you're a little bit shy to ask because you may feel like you might be rejected. Or it's like, no, I'm fine because I'm going to be with my son, blah, blah, blah. I'm not getting that energy, <laughs> Pisces. I'm not. I'm not. Okay? But this is, if th your person feels this or this is you, Pisces. You don't want anybody else. You know this is your person. You're not going to find a love like this anywhere else, Pisces. And you know it. All your hard work is going to pay off. God is not going to just say, Psych, Pisces, I had you work on yourself and work on your money and work on your emotions and blah, 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 blah. And I'm just going to, uh, uh, you're going to uh, speak to this person. You're going to ask this person out on a date, ask them to spend the holidays with you, and I'm going to have them reject you. That's not what God is doing here. Okay? Please believe me when I say this. You don't want anybody else, Pisces. And I'm also getting you don't want to spend the holidays with anybody else but that person. Even if they have their own child. Okay? Even if you have your own kid. <clears throat> There's something different about this year. This eclipse season is really catapulting to getting you to do something you've never done. 
you are capable, okay? Stop second guessing. I'm getting the answer is yes. It's not maybe, okay? I'm getting the answer is yes. And you know it too, Pisces, you do. They want me to pull another card for you. So what else would their person like to say to them? Holy Spirit. Archangels, Galactic families, pretty experience. Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and clarity. This could be what you want to say to them, Pisces, right? Remember, take it how it resonates, whatever fits your situation. What does their person want to say to Pisces? <laughs> you see how these cards fly out, guys? Wow. Don't give up on us. I need more time. The other card said, don't even think about giving up with the Aries energy. Take the lead, trailblaze through this, Pisces. Your person is also telling you, don't give up. Okay? Now, whether you need more time, that's up to you. Some of you need more time, others of you don't, because you're being told, you're getting ready to take action. This eclipse season is pushing that. <clears throat> I will contact you soon. I am preparing myself to reach out to you. There it is. We're going away on a trip together soon. Okay. Don't doubt our connection, please. It is real. I've been trying to locate where you are. Don't give up, Pisces. Your person is telling you not to give up. I'm telling you not to give up. Your hard work is going to pay off. I know it's been tiring. It's been grueling. The nine of wands. It's been a struggle. It's been a battle. But you will reach success. You will reap your rewards for all the difficulties you've been through. All the struggles. All the battles. All the challenges. All the hard work you've put into this. Okay? Your hard work will not be in vain. Please understand what I tell you. Okay, Pisces? I really hope this helped you. Um... If you would like a personal reading with me or a live coaching session, either via phone or um, Zoom, by all means, check out the description box below. Go to capellawellness.com. If you want to sign up for a Capella membership, by all means, please do. All right. It's well worth the investment. You will also be able to enter in. Uh, in hold on. You can get a free 14-day free, <laughs> a 14-day free trial. See, somebody's getting nervous. What did I say? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Didn't I say this at the be the beginning? I said that somebody was nervous. Thank you. I forgot about that. Somebody's nervous again because somebody's about to do this. Somebody's on the verge of asking somebody out or just asking somebody, I want to spend the holidays with you or something like that. I want to marry you. It could be all of the above. I want a, a relationship to move to the next level. Anyway. 14-day free trial for my Capella memberships, okay? You can cancel at any time. You will get access to my free private mobile app where you will be able to see all of my exclusive content in one place. Daily guidance videos, meditation videos. Um, you get to be part of the Capella circle. You get to meet some amazing, powerful people. You get to also engage in my wellness challenges that I put out every week or when I'm reminded to, when I remember... Um, members only lies. I'm having one on the full moon on Tuesday at 9 30 p.m. I would highly recommend that you join that because it's going to be a powerful, powerful lunation, okay? Epic um, full moon here for a lot of us, all right? Um, you can sign up for a membership and join in on that um, live session, okay? I'm also having another live session for the very, very powerful portal, the 1111 portable portable portal on Friday. It's going to be around noon, but if you can't make it, that's okay because you will still have access to watch the replay. It will still be beneficial to you. Either you can sign up for a membership to be part of that or you can buy a seat and I will have a, uh, a link to where you can grab your seat if you don't want to uh, purchase a membership. But that is going to really magnify the power with all the people who are going to be in that session. We're going to do a meditation. I'm going to do a reading and I'm going to um, bring in all of these energies to help us with really manifesting our heart's desires. It's like a boosting in our manifestation abilities, okay? It's going to be really epic. It's going to be very powerful. I will tell you when I have lives with my current members, the power there is insane. 
So you will be able to really benefit that and whatever power you have, you will magnify whatever it already is um, that's already um, present in that session, okay? So check out the description box below um, for that link if you want to buy a seat or again, go to capellawellness.com, click on the join now button to sign up for a Capella membership. All right, Pisces, that concludes your reading. Thank you so very much for watching this video, for subscribing to this channel if you haven't already, and for illuminating that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. I wish you the best today and always. I send you so, so much love, and I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jasmine Capella Wellness, starring out.